to see everyone again. Welcome back to our upcycling channel. I'm Jessica Ray. And I'm Mathieu. And for those who are just uh, joining us, uh, well, we are in the process of renovating a 1970 trailer and we started this channel back in August. If you're just tuning in, just go back to our previous videos and you'll see where we started and so you understand better where we are right now because we're going to show you big progress on, on the trailer. And, uh, and we're also revealing our paint color choice. Thank you everyone for sending in all your color suggestions. So let's get right in. Let's get it. One of the things we have been working on the last couple of weeks is replacing the ceiling panels. So as you remember, there was some white hardboard up on the top that had all rotted and fallen in. We decided to use the exact same material, hardboard, and uh, we had a really fun time cutting it to fit the very curved top of our trailer. So we had some help from my brother Dean, and it was just a lot of measuring, cutting, measuring again, measuring and cutting. Again, the trailer is not square or maybe it was, but it was, it's not anymore. Just slightly um, off. And so, yeah, a lot of um, measuring, cutting, trying it in, and then cutting another millimeter and then After the ceiling panels, we decided to tackle the wall panels. It's just easier uh, to do it at this point in, uh, in the renovation process. And for the wall panels, we used engineered hardwood. It's no. Um, plywood, engineered plywood. plywood. Yes. <laughs> so with my brother-in-law, Dean, uh, we've been working on this first panel for the trailer. Uh, we've made measurements, we've made cuts, we've made, we've made judgment calls. And now we're just uh, going to try and see if it fits. We've been working on those uh, on those walls. As you can see, I've made a cut uh, on these panels. They're not attached yet, but it forms a complete wall. There's four panels. Oh, cutting them was difficult uh, just because we had a curve. And I don't know what tool you guys use for a curve, but we use a uh, jigsaw and it just it rips through the paneling and it's just not looking clean. Uh, so now we're using the table saw, but it's just kind of dangerous. And not ideal, uh, but I mean, the, there'll be a trim and nobody will know, I will know, but nobody else. I think they look pretty good. Just let us know in the comments. So we're working on the trailer, and guess who showed up? We're small timers. This thing would eat our trailer for breakfast. <laughs> so uh, it's the trailer of Uncle Jim. It's not my uncle. It's Jessica Ray's uncle, and he's pretty tall, like six, six. foot seven. Uh, do you guys want to walk around this thing? And then Jessica moved on to uh, painting. paint them. So then I painted all the interior wall panels and all the ceiling panels.
What is that noise behind us? Oh, and one of the great things about this project is that it just invites people in to come help us. People have been so curious. So uh, a friend of my parents has offered to weld a new bolt head onto one of our stripped bolts on our legs. So that's great. So we've been focusing our attention on the bottom. So we've been working on the chassis. So that's the metal frame that the whole trailer sits on. So Mathieu again was doing tons of sanding, patching lots of holes, and then we've painted it all. We moved on to a much more exciting step, which was painting the exterior aluminum siding of the trailer. Okay, the day has finally come. We are ready to start painting. Would you like to finally see what color we have chosen, at least for the bottom half? Yes, we want. <laughs> the top half will not be very exciting. It will be white, but the bottom half will be... Okay, it's not supposed to be pink supposed to be red. I think it looks amazing. It is amazing. Well, that's what the color is called. Amazing it's red. Amazing red. <laughs> well, what we didn't realize is that red just takes a lot of coats to cover, more than I think pretty much any other color. I've been uh, doing painting and sanding all day, so uh, it looks the same on the other side. Once we had all the, the bottom panels painted, we then attached the top panels, which we had removed to do a lot of repair work on the metal. So we reattached the remaining missing aluminum panels and then painted all of those.
think of our new paint job? Just finished this side, did five coats on the top, six coats of red on the bottom. It's gonna be stopping traffic on the highway. I think it looks great. So our, our back end is completely open and exposed. This uh, panel is almost ready to be put on, just have a little bit of last minute metal work to do. And then we have that one installed and we've almost got all the wall skins back on. So I've come up with a little design for the front end. Originally the trailer had a stripe right around the middle with two pieces of trim, but I wanted more a bold two-tone trailer. And so we've only are gonna put one piece of trim in, kind of make it look a bit more funky or catching. I'm gonna do the bottom half of the V all red and then the top white. So I think hopefully the design works. to see if the top of the V didn't bleed all into the new red. And then this will be our front, front design done. So let's see if it turned out. watching but we really appreciate the the comments stay tuned for whatever we have next we have a long list of things to do on this trailer so still a lot of work to do yeah and we're still learning and so if you have any comments and positive comments uh feel free to <laughs> drop one we only accept and, positive comments <laughs> and uh, subscribe to your channel to stay up to date okay till next time till next time Thank you.